Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, no, I'm not turning into a baking channel, but Jessica's birthday is this weekend and I really want to make a cake for her. I've made a cake for her before and it didn't go as planned. You can hear more about that on our new podcast. Uh, check out Calvin and Jessica podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Google, Spotify, everywhere. Just go check it out. Uh, episode number three is where I talk about me trying to make a cake and it not going as planned. But hopefully this one does go as planned. I've got my fingers crossed on this one, so uh, I'm hoping for the best. Today I'm going to be making a chocolate vegan cake. I decided to make it vegan because we're going to have people come over and some of them are vegan and some of them are vegetarians. So I wanted to make a cake that everybody could enjoy. That being said, I think it's time to get started. Let's go. All right, it's time to make a mess now. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is grease our baking sheets. Um, I've used some vegan butter and kind of spread around there. And then after we do that, we wanna get a little bit of flour, just kind of dust around a little bit in there. All right. <laughs> Once those have got some uh, like butter or flour on them, you can also use some of that spray, um, nonstick spray on there, and that could work too. Um, but, I, but I already had some of that vegan butter. Uh, then you want to cut out some parchment paper and little circles that will fit at the bottom of these. I've already done that. Uh, so we can have those there. And those are pretty much ready for when we put the batter inside. That way, when we take the cake out, they won't stick to the pans anyway, and they should just easily come out when they're ready. All right, so now that that's going, the next thing we need to do is get some almond milk. Um, I've already poured uh, two cups in here. Now we need to get two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar to go in there. And what that will do is it kind of activates it and kind of makes it a little bit thicker um, to make it more like buttermilk in a way. Now what we need to do is sift together some flour. I've got two cups of flour here, half a cup of sugar, I should just roll it through, one cup of cocoa powder. Okay, then we need to get two teaspoons of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt, which I've put together in this bowl already. And we'll go ahead and sift that through as well. I'll use my whisk to break it up a little bit and kind of sift through a little better. Okay, great. So that is all the dry ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mix those together. Ta-da! Okay. Now that the dry ingredients are mixed, what we need to do is finish the wet ingredients and then mix them together. So what we're gonna do now is put one and one fourth cup of applesauce in the mixture. This will help supposedly with the moisture and make it uh, a lot more moist. So hopefully, uh, I haven't put applesauce in a cake before, but it's vegan, it's fine. <laughs> Besides the applesauce, we're gonna put the coconut oil, will be two thirds of a cup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then we're gonna do three fourths of a cup of maple syrup, so. And that should help with the sweetness since we're not using as much sugar. Now that all the wet ingredients are together, we need to mix them together. I don't have one of those like stand mixer, KitchenAid kind of things. I wish I did because it would make things a lot easier, but uh, this is what I have for now, so hopefully it's okay. So you're supposed to mix this until it gets foamy, which it is, it's foamy. Now that this is like this, what we need to do now is slowly mix in these dry ingredients. So I'll just do a little bit at a time here. Oh yeah, this is starting to look like cake mix. Now, that I've got it on there and kind of mixed, I'm gonna put this in there and see if we can mix it a little better. Not bad. I don't think you put coconut in it. I did. Oh, coconut oil. Coconut oil. Oh, 
coconut oh. oil. It's good, isn't it? Yes, I love I like this tastes so much like coconut. I, She's it's... happy. <laughs> Alright, so we don't want to mix it too much because we don't want too much glue in the form. Now that we got that mixed, I'm gonna to try to put it in these pans. I'm wanting to make as many layers as I can. I've got enough stuff to do this again, so I'm probably gonna do that and try to make a fairly large cake. But uh, let's let's see how this goes. I'm gonna start pouring this in. Um, also, something I forgot, Jessica helped me with, you need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Um, I just didn't do it because I was filming. I didn't know how long it would take. But yeah, preheat your oven before you get started. So now I'm just gonna pour this. Just trying to make it even. So ended up being enough for just two cake pans. So I'll leave that one over there for right now. I'm hoping they rise a little bit. Who knows? Um, I assume they will. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make at least a four tier cake with this. Um, now I just gotta wait for the oven to preheat. Then I'll throw these in there for about 25 minutes and uh, pop them out. All right, look at these. Looks like they turned out pretty good. I'll let them cool off for a little bit. Uh, and now I think I'm gonna to try to maybe take them off, take them out. Um, I've got some parchment paper here. I'm gonna to try to plop it onto. Here goes nothing, I guess. Ta-da! That turned out pretty good. Boom, no stick it. Okay, this one, here goes nothing. I was nervous. Great. I'm gonna pick it up. Place it there. Easy peasy. Man. All right, now I got two more to make, um, which I've already did. And then I'll put these in the refrigerator and let them sit overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come back and I will do the icing, frosting, and uh, the rest of the decorating. So tomorrow's gonna be a long day of hopefully not messing that up. This looks like it turned out pretty good. The batter tasted pretty good, so I'm excited about the rest. All right, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's been a day. Um, the cakes are in the refrigerator cooling off. Um, I let them stay overnight. And now we're gonna make the frosting. Um, so the first thing we want is some vegan butter. Uh, you can use just vegan butter in this, but I'm also going to be using shortening. So I'm just doing half uh, butter, half shortening. Um, you can use like sunflower uh, butter or whatever, but I'm just using this earth balance butter here. Um, so I'm going to be making two batches of this. So I'm halving everything right now. Um, so I'm going to do half a cup of butter, half a cup of shortening. Um, needs to be softened a little bit, which I've already done and put in this bowl. And now we need a fourth a cup of almond milk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So now we need to sift in some cocoa powder and powdered sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. We need about two thirds a cup of cocoa powder. Now that we got the cocoa powder, I'm gonna go ahead and start stirring. And then uh, I'm going to slowly sift in three cups of powdered sugar. So let's get started. Now once that's mixed in pretty good, uh, I've got about a fourth a cup of melted, semi-sweet, um, dairy-free chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop in here. And I'll mix that together too. So now this is all mixed together. Uh, now I added a little bit of extra powdered sugar just to thicken it up, about a fourth a cup more. You can add more powdered sugar or more almond milk depending on how thick you want it. Uh, I wanted it a little bit thicker with a little bit stiffer of peaks if possible. But now I'm going to put this in the fridge, uh, let it cool down for a little bit, 
uh, maybe thicken up a little bit while I clean everything off and get ready to start stacking the cake. And now we clean. Everything's cleaned off and now I'm ready to start putting this cake together. Uh, I've got the cake, I've got the icing, and then I also made a soak. Um, it is sweetened almond milk, uh, about maybe a fourth a cup of chopped up uh, melted chocolate, a little bit of cocoa powder, and I put some simple syrup in there too. Make it real sweet, chocolatey, um, and it should help make the cake a little bit more moist and taste pretty good. So first thing we want to do is get your spatula, put a little icing there, I may put a little more just to help it not move, hopefully. And then we'll get this first layer here. Boom, easy peasy. Great. Now that that's there, I've got to get my soak. Don't want to add too much. A little bit came off the side here, so I'm going to make sure to wipe that up. Okay, great. Now, let's see if we can add icing. They said put more that you think you're going to need. So, let's see. Might have put too much. Who knows? <laughs> Does it look like I know what I'm doing? Because I don't. Okay, I'm trying to put the next layer on here. Ooh, that one is definitely moist, as you can tell. Look at my soak. Okay, now that we got it soaked, Add my icing. Alright, some of the icing is coming out of the side just a little bit, so what I think we're going to do, because this cake is so dense, is go ahead and put it back in the refrigerator for a little bit and let everything thicken up. And then I'll finish the last layer and the crumb coat, and I'll make the rest of the icing while, while we're waiting on that. Cool. Whew, great. Now all the layers are on. Um, I was thinking about making a two-tier cake, but I think I'm glad I'm doing this. It is really difficult to make a cake, especially if you're filming it. But man, I uh, I feel for all those bakers out there on YouTube. Props to you guys. It's not easy work. But anyway, I'm gonna finish this cake up. Um, I don't know if I got it all the way even, so I want to like, if there's any places I need to trim it, I'm gonna do that first. Um, like right here, I think it's like not perfectly straight, so I'm just gonna. This looks so good. Now that I've got the edges uh, cleaned up, straightened out, I'm going to put some icing on it. Not a whole lot this time. And this will be a crumb coat to help remove some of these crumbs. It's really helpful on a less dense cake. And do this and we'll kind of even everything up. My top is shifting a little bit because I didn't let it stay in the refrigerator long enough uh, with the soak and the icing. So it's like moving back and forth. So I'm trying to make sure that I can keep it straight. And I think it's good. I've lined it up pretty good. I'm just like scooping it over a little bit. I think it's good to go in the refrigerator now. So I'm going to put it in the fridge. I've got it all cleaned up. All the edges. Uh, I'm going to wipe this down a little bit and then I'll pop it in the fridge 
for a couple hours at least before I start on the next part. So I'm gonna do that, run in town, and I'll be right back. The cake is looking awesome. Uh, I'm ready to start doing the final touches on it. Um, hopefully this goes well. I had the icing um, in the refrigerator, which was a mistake because it thickened up and hardened just like this. So I put it in the microwave just for a little bit. Um, hopefully it's okay. It's maybe 15 seconds is what I put it in there for. So it should be good. Um, hopefully it's not too runny now, but we'll see. Um, now that the crumb coat's completely cooled off, um, I'm gonna add this final coat. Uh, then we'll make the fondant and put it all together. So let's see if we can do that real quick. Scoop, scoop, scoop some of this on. When I was a kid, I went and worked with my grandpa, who does sheetrock, uh, and I've done a lot of uh, using knives to like scrape stuff, sheetrock, and so I'm hoping that that practice has helped me with this a little bit to make this cake. Um, I'm wanting to like make sure everything's filled in just right. Um, but I feel like it's coming together. Um, I still want to clean it up just a little bit more. Um, but I don't want to cool it off this time because I need something for the fondant to stick to. So let me clean this up a little bit more and then we'll move on to the fondant. All right. Now that the cake is ready, I'm going to prep the fondant and then uh, attempt to put it on. Maybe this will be enough fondant. I think so. Just one box right here is what I'm going to use. And I've got some white fondant and then I've got some gray that I've made by putting some black food coloring in here. Um, and now I'm going to try just to knead these together a little bit, twist these together. So I haven't messed with fondant before. I think I might have mixed it too much. Like I wanted a lot more white in there, but it's gray, it's not too bad. Let's, let's just go ahead and roll it out. So I just tried to use this um, and roll it out as thin as I could, I felt comfortable with, but I don't think it's going to be enough. So I'm going to use this second batch that I've, I have here, try to use half of it and see what we can do. I think it'll create a better pattern too, so I'm fine with it. I'm kind of disappointed that this didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Let's roll it out and just see. Moment of truth. Okay, so now what you're supposed to do is kind of, well, without getting your hands dirty, it's looking pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna add some powder sugar to my hands just to be safe. Yeah, okay, now what you're supposed to do. Is 
Okay, so it didn't go completely as planned. A bunch of the icing started coming out of the bottom. See my mess here? So I kept trying to cut it. Uh, and then I ended up getting this knife here and just going down and pulling it out and cutting the bonnet that way. I was planning on just using the exacto knife, but man, that was messy. You can still see I've got a little bit of mess going on here. I've got some Q-tips. I'm just trying to clean it up with. So what I think I'm gonna do now, oh man, my kitchen is a mess. I've been trying to clean up as I go, but oh, just a disaster. All right, so the cake looks okay. The only problem was like all the chocolate coming out the bottom, like you know, and then also there's this crack right here. Um, so I have the crack is fine because I'm just gonna cut out right there. The bottom I decided what I'm gonna do is pipe some icing on the bottom and then stick some crystals down at the bottom, which I've already piped or I've already made the uh, already made the icing. Boom. So there's that. Now what I gotta do is figure out how I'm gonna cut this. So let's see here. Just cut it where you can see it. We'll see. So let's start here. Am I making a mistake? How's that looking? Is it looking like I made a mistake? Feels like I did. Oh man. Okay, I destroyed the cake. Look at that. Ta da! Okay, hopefully this works out. These will be for me for later. Now, what I need to do is prep. The rock candy. All right, so for the past week, uh, I have been making these rock candies. Um, last night I went and took them out. I think this is what they turned out like. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, I like the crystals that came out on them, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Also, the food coloring that I put them in was a lot, like, I thought I put a lot of food coloring in, but as you can tell, it's not very dark. So I went to Party City and I got some. I did make some, but these are so much darker, look at that. So what I need to do now is prep these. That was a mess. Uh, I put all those rock candies into these three bowls here. Um, now I'm gonna start decorating. If you can't tell, I am exhausted and ready to go to bed. Uh, it's about two o'clock in the morning and I've been up 
pretty much the whole time, or I've, oh man, I've been up since like three, uh, what am I trying to say? I've been up every night to three o'clock at least. So let's go ahead and get some of this ready. Okay, let me get some of these bigger ones. So it's not exactly what I was thinking, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, I, I put some of those crystals down at the bottom edge to help it make it help make it look better and kind of cleaner. Now I bought some gold leaf on Amazon. It never came, so I went to Hobby Lobby and bought this. Oh, there we go. It's very runny, not exactly what I was wanting. I did also buy some of this gold glitter, so let's see how this does. Done, finished it. It's a cake. The cake, I'm done. The cake is done. I finished it. Oh my gosh, that took forever. I just do not know how these baking channels do it every single video. It's like a whole production to like make the cake, move the camera, keep the kitchen clean, which obviously I didn't do. Um, I've got a huge mess here, but it's done. I think it looks okay. Um, and I'm excited for everyone to see it tomorrow. I'm good, probably gonna do a video of the party um so please be sure to check that out like if you like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching mm -hmm.